Hello students, welcome back to my channel. My name is Purnima. I am an IELTS and PT trainer and uh, today I am going to share with you an important information because many students are commenting me about uh, the process they want to know about how they cancel and postpone their IELTS exam. So students, please watch the video full so that you can get a clear idea about how you can and uh, transfer or postpone your IELTS exam so first of all as you can see on the screen you should go on the Google and search IELTS how to transfer and postpone IELTS exam then there is a website you will get IELTS IDP India and uh, this page is open now so here it is it is written that register for IELTS lack test test model test city this is for your new IELTS exam if you are going to register but for transfer and cancellation there is a separate column below that is transfer or cancellation so you should go on this cancellation request please download the transfer cancellation application form and policy from the download section on www.ieltsidpindia.com so now i'm going to download this form and as you can see on the screen <coughs> this is our form and uh, yes so this is your transfer cancellation refund application form and you have to fill this form and this form is suggested to you that request for transfer of test debt IELTS IELTS for UKY and I ELTS for life skills clear so a request using the transfer cancellation application form for transferring of a test date for example postponement or preponement to another date must reach the center at least five weeks prior to the original test date <coughs> means you can apply for refunding and cancellation and for transferring the date of your exam at least five weeks prior to the original test date so that you can get your refund back okay and the allocation of the next test date will be at the sole discretion of the center and subject to availability. Next, if you are going for computer delivered IELTS, then you have to confirm with them at least three weeks prior to the original test date. And there is a fee detail that will be given to you, test type IELTS, fee detail 3500. And this is the amount that will be deducted from your fees and the rest of the fees you will get into your account if you cancel or postpone your exam so these are some details you can read these details and uh, at the below of this section there is an application form that you should fill so this is the detail as you can see on the screen what you can give them the answer and the query why you are going to transfer or cancel your IELTS exam first for example typhoid jaundice for example if you are suffering from any disease that you have to be confirmed with this and uh, ordinary viral fever cough cold will not be considered serious injury loss or bereavement any for example death of a close family member victim of crime victim of a traffic accident loss of passport passport submitted to passport office so these are the condition in which you can cancel or refund your transfer your IELTS exam fine then there is uh, you have to submit a medical certificate signed by registered medical practitioner in case of uh, disease or uh, hospital admission certificate and discharge summary etc and then <coughs> fee detail is given to you 3500 3775 3500 for computer based and simple IELTS and then is 3475 so moving to the form so this is the form you have to fill and as you can see first of all you have to write your candidate name that will be written on your passport then your signature date place test date this test test is the date for which you have already filled the exam not your desired test date next is request for tick appropriate box transfer cancellation and then you have to write on the date of today or the day on which you are going to submit this form next is your personal detail and it should be same as provided in the application form first and middle name family name your passport number address mobile landline contact number email id center name and number candidate statement to be completed by the candidate please provide detailed information of applying for so in this you have to write the reason and why you are going to cancel or why do you want to refund and why do you transfer your IELTS exam and then test registered for in this you will mention your date of the designated date clear 
then is your new test date which you are going to be preferred and uh, the next date that you will want on which you can give your IELTS exam take appropriate books first choice you can mention any new date and second choice you can add any other date fine then there is a candidate financial detail you have to give them your financial detail candidate beneficiary name candidate number bank name bank branch address bank account number bank ifsc code candidate mobile content number con candidate landline contact number passport number and then your address etc then your signature and date so this is the form you have to fill and you have to submit it or you can mail to the ielts idp branch office okay so that you can easily get your money back okay guys so i think that video is going to be useful for you and if you like the video share this with your friends and all the best for your ielts exam okay bye